Every spring, millions of herring come together to lay eggs along the shores and nearby islands of eastern Vancouver Island. So abundant is the wild nature that shows up to feast on the herring that it's been called the Serengeti of the sea. It's early March and I'm on my way to Hornby Island, off the eastern shores of Vancouver Island. After a few days wait, I get news that a small spawn is underway on the north shore of the island, so I head that way. I get to a lookout, and way down the shore, I see dozens of gulls aloft. Yes, this must be it. So I launch. Ahead, the shore is just covered with gulls. And as I look more closely, sea lions are everywhere. I look for a shore where I might find herring eggs exposed by the falling tide. I enter a quiet bay clouded by male herring sperm. Herring must be spawning right below me, so I lower my camera. I see shadows darting around in the fog. Herring! Yes, they're right down on the bottom. Herring just fly around my camera. Somewhere in all this movement, Females must be laying sticky eggs on the seafloor, and males are releasing clouds of sperm. So I land on the nearby shore. The tide is falling, and I'm looking for herring eggs. And sure enough, there are herring eggs everywhere. I take a look down the shore, and I realize that it's these eggs that the gulls are feeding on. I pause and look around. There are gulls, seals, and sea lions everywhere. I head for my kayak. Further offshore are hundreds of marine birds, gulls, scoter, loons, merganser. Closer to me, a big group of sea lions is feeding hard on herring. But something else catches my eye. The gulls are catching herring. I see a gull dive in, and come up with a herring. Another dives in, and two comes up with a herring. But all this animal energy is a bit overwhelming, so I head for a quieter place. An eagle lands nearby. Over time, the feeding energy of the bay moves its way. But the tide is rising and the eagle's running out of rock. A group of sea lions approach, and the eagle moves on. Which in turn sets a flock of gulls in motion. But things seem to be winding down. I notice a group of sea lions heading east, maybe heading back for the day to their hollow rock. And many of the gulls have settled on the shore and a flock of shorebirds catch the last light. I've been on the water most of the day. All that I've witnessed whirls now around in my mind. I have watched a grand chaos of great intention. The herring are here to spawn. Everything else is here to feed. That the herring bring this party together is obvious that so much nature comes to speaks to the deeply vital role that herring play in the marine realm of this Salish Sea. That nature can still muster such abundance, I find, so reassuring. It gives me hope. <laughs>